But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more godly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecution, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. Thank you for joining for day 26 of our 28-day experiment of dynamite prayer. Have you shifted your views just like today's insight mentions? We have probably all heard Romans 8.28, all things work together for good. It is one of those signs that we put up on our church walls or next to the front door of our homes. It's one of those signs that you can find very easily at Hobby Lobby. We all want to look back at our lives, look at the results, and know that it has all worked together for good. Have you ever thought, though, deeply in stories like Hudson Taylor's and think about whose good it was for? I firmly believe that if Hudson Taylor's faith was genuine like Paul's, he will look back at his life and know it was for God's good. We often forget the second part of verse 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. If we love God, we truly seek his goodness, not ours. I've never experienced as many walls and limitations in life as I'm experiencing in life right now. I thought all I had to do was push through them, but I think the walls and limitations themselves are blessings now. I can honestly say that any good that comes out of my life is because of my weakness and God's power. And to see God's power at work, that is one of the best blessings that we can experience. I feel the most weak and vulnerable in my current appointment. Now, I hope that are the church members who are listening to this, it's not because of you. Okay, and, and, and I, it, I don't want to sound it in a way it's like, oh, it's not you, it's me type of way. It really is just God showing me that he is doing his work. You know, there's a lot of things that are difficult for me to truly grasp, right? The values of this small town in Wisconsin, very different from the values that were instilled in me while I was younger. And how the church members live out our faith is very different from what I was taught growing up in the church. Here's the thing, though. And this is the thing that I love the most and what I learned the most is that I can't force anyone to change. And that's what makes me feel the most vulnerable. But then at the same time, that's how I know it's God's work and God's power that is in charge of our church, not my own. I feel the most vulnerable in my current appointment. But I also see God's power the most in my current appointment, and it's been great. Let's pray together the breakthrough prayer for our church. God, who reminds us that your grace is enough, give us the eyes to see our shortcomings and limitations as a church so that we can see your power shine through. Amen. Let's say the prayer hold three times so we can memorize it. Where I am weak, God is strong. Where I am weak, God is strong. Where I am weak, God is strong. I hope you can continue to pray using this prayer hold during the day. I'll start out my prayers. Lord God, I am weak, Lord. I lose my patience. I'm judgmental. I sometimes just draw weird stories and conclusions in my mind. Uh, I don't have enough time to do all the things that I want to do. I don't have the time sometimes just to visit the people, uh, even though you have called me uh, to visit them. And Lord God, it's my weakness, Lord. But Lord God, that's when you are strong. I've noticed that your, your presence is still with those people, that you send someone else in our church to visit those people. 
But Lord God, that I thought when all hope was lost and it was difficult getting volunteers, you send the people to step up. Lord God, in all my weaknesses, Lord God, I see your strengths. I see, Lord God, your strength, Lord. And so, Lord God, thank you, Lord, for showing my weakness so that I know that you are strong. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today in this wonderful experiment. I thank those of us who have made it 26 days. I hope you felt God's power through your prayers and that you're willing to share what God has done during this time. Please let me know. Please let me know in church. Please let me know through the comments. Please let me know through my email. Please share the power of God that has taken place in your life. We only have a couple days to go.